So now, uh, it has been for this one. D total is equal to A pi epsilon naught R. This is one time because this one, if you uh, if it have this to be a Z D square. Sign is minus, you have write minus. And there the four, so two times you have write two z d square. This equation number six. Now uh, e total will be equal. To, now here plus z is z d square and minus the two z d square. There will be a minus minus. C e square over a pi epsilon naught r. So this is the c e square a pi epsilon naught r uh, equation number seven. If you see in your book, you can find this one. In your book, there isn't it. Now after that. Again, we use the previous derivation. Please write down as it is or what I have written. You write in your copy. You must write this. This is very important to write yourself. See very well. Math with your book and write down because I am going to comment. Square 
Yes, we have the square square mark. And m is square and h is square. This is the this is the total energy of an electron. Z e square m z square e fourth m a epsilon not square h square m square h square. So this is the total energy of the electron. Uh, yesterday already we discussed that Bohr's atomic order only obey the mono electronic system for the hydrogen. Suppose we are talking about the hydrogen atom, so Z is equal to 1. This is for hydrogen atom. For hydrogen atom, the Z is equal to 1. So that is why if you are taking Z is equal to 1, then total energy will be Z equals minus E fourth M divided by A uh, epsilon naught square uh, N square N N square. This is the value. calculation take out the constants in the previous uh, uh, lecture I told you. So E total will be equal to uh, minus here yeah, the minus E is a charge constant M is a mass also constant. So this is a constant factor E4 M divided by A is a constant Epsilon naught is a permittivity constant, n is a number of shape naught constants, and h square is a constant. It means that 1 over n square. And if you are uh, using another atoms for uh, lithium ion or beryllium, then you have to put uh, z square over n square. If you are using another uh, ion or atom for when you are uh, using lithium, you are using beryllium, then you put here Z because atomic number of the other elements are different. This is only for the hydrogen ion. Because the hydrogen has a Z is equal to 1, that's why I put here. Otherwise, you can put Z square over N square because Z is atomic number and N is a number of Orbits. So uh, yesterday I show you by putting the value you have a constant. This is also calculation is here. So dear students, in your book example number two point four, two point four so is constant. This. This, these constants are denoted by K. These constants denoted by capital K means E 4 M divided by A epsilon naught H square. These are the constants. So if you put the charge, value of charge here, mass, A constant, epsilon naught value is given in your book. Plunk's constant is given in your book, or you put the value and you will be able to calculate the total energy of the electron. Now, so total energy of the electron is total energy of the electron is minus K multiplied by 1 over n is square like this total energy of electron will be minus k means 
means you have to calculate this by putting the inserting all the constant values and you will get and k is that for values and 1 over n square. Now in your book the value of a is calculated. The value of the value of k is two point one seven into I think it's two point one seven nine exactly. You have to write nine also here. Into 10 to the power minus 18. This is the value of k. Now, if you put, if you insert here in this formula, so total energy of an orbit is equal to minus 2.179 into 10 to the power minus 18 multiplied by 1 over n square. This is now. Where n is a principal quantum number, integral numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. K shell, L shell, M shell, N shell, and I shell. This is. Why should be the negative? And after inserting the value, you will be able to calculate the total energy of the electron revolving electron in, a, in an orbit. So please note it. You have to note this. See very well. Now, from this calculation, from this calculation, you will be able to calculate the ionization energy of the electron when the electron is removed from the hydrogen atom, means C is equal to 1 and n is equal to 1. So when z is equal to 1 and n is equal to 1, this is the energy of first orbit of the hydrogen atom. This is the energy of the first orbit of hydrogen atom. So there is, uh, I think, uh, numerical also here. And also, yes, calculate the radius of third orbit of electron of hydrogen atom. I told you uh, radius for the R3 for the hydrogen Z is equal to 1. So, N not multiplied by N is square. So, radius R n square means the number of shells, third means 3, 3 square multiplied by value of a not constant, you will get the uh, radius of third orbit which is given here, that's 4.71 and strong which is given here. Example, then I will calculate another uh, derivation. So please note this very well. The question is in your book, example number 2.1. 
1.5 calculate the value of n1 calculate the value of n1 for helium helium positive ion and lithium positive 2 ion mono electronic system helium has two electrons atomic number is two so when the one is lost there the one only but the atomic number is two atomic number is not changed number of protons not changed lithium atomic number is three so when it loses two electrons to become a one this is also a mono electronic system but its atomic number it remains same 3 so in this case z is equal to 2 in this case z is equal to 3 now when you apply value of k is given here so i told you energy of helium positive 1 is equal to i told you minus minus k multiplied by z square over n square z square over n square so for n he say 1 n is equal to 1 for the helium minus value of k is given 2.179 into 10 to the power minus 18 multiplied by uh, atomic number of the helium is 2 uh, square means 4 right 4 here divided by n means 1 so students if you multiply by 4 this you will get the answer if you multiply by 4 then you will get the answer the answer is 8.716 k minus 8.716 into 10 to the power minus uh, 18 joules. This is answer for this is answer for the first one helium. Likewise, uh, you can calculate for the Energy of the lithium. This is the lithium positive 1 and positive 2 and atomic number is 3. So when you apply this one, when you apply the formula minus k is minus 2.179 into 10 to power minus 18 multiply by atomic number for lithium is 3 so 3 multiplied by 3 9 and number of shell he say 1 so divide it by 1 so if you multiply by 9 this you can get the answer the answer is given in your book that is minus minus 1.961 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules these are the uh, very simple uh, numericals you can solve. By using this formula, you can solve for uh, any uh, ion. I told you Z is an atomic number, for the hydrogen it is 1, and for the other elements it is going to be different. This is the first generation I told you. There is the another uh, derivation, which is a uh, wave number. Wave number. So for the wave number, uh, we have to uh, calculate the change change in energy 
energy. Change is delta. Delta. Change is a change in energy. Will be equal to higher energy E2 minus lower energy E1. This is. So, uh, from the previous calculation, we know the value of E. So, delta E will be is equal to uh, E means what value of E? M. Value of E is equal to M. Z is square. E4 divided by A epsilon naught. And this E2, I should put N2. N2 is square and H is square. This is the value of E in the previous calculation we done this. Now, uh, for the uh, calculation here, E2 Value of E is a minus, minus sign of this, is a minus sign. And in the formula there is also minus. So put the value for here, M, C square, E fourth, divided by A, epsilon naught, and there the E1, so I put M1 square, and H square, this is equation number 2. So solve it. Uh, delta E is equal to minus M Z square E fourth uh, divided by A epsilon naught M two square H square. Minus into minus plus M Z square E4 divided by A epsilon square and 1 square and H is square. This is the equation number 3. Now, students, you have to rearrange this one. Make, put positive here and negative there. Then your uh, new equation will be uh, L E this M Z square E four divided by A epsilon naught square and one square and H square now minus will be in the middle. So M Z square E four divided by A epsilon naught square in 2 square and h square. This is the equation number 4. Now the students uh, take out the all common which are similar m m. Z is an atomic number. Okay, we are putting here z. Atomic number is not a constant. But it's common of the number. And E okay. Divided by A, yes. Epsilon naught, yes. M1 and M2 are not same. Number of orbiters. This is number of orbit 1, this is number of orbit 2, so these are not same. So only H is square multiply by this is a multiply by. 1 over 1 over n 1 square minus 1 over n 2 square. If you are not going to write sign, you can put i square. So this is the equation number 5. Like this. For hydrogen, g is equal. 
equal to okay but for the other element you have to put this is the formula if you see your book they are written then e is equal to m e is 4 because d is equal to 1 for the hydrogen atom so m e m e4 a epsilon y square h square 1 over n 1 square minus 1 over n 2 square now uh, students i told you for the value of these if you match the previous uh, derivation you will find same but the sign is only different previous the value of k was minus but here the value is going to be plus the so same 2.179 or 8 if you are going to uh, round off it minus 18 1 over n 1 square minus 1 over n 2 square this is the formula so dear students you can calculate you can calculate by using this formula Now, from this, from this, you will be able to calculate change in energy, change in energy. According to Bohr's atomic model, this change in energy is equal to h frequency. So you can calculate frequency. Frequency will be equal. To delta E over H so if you know if you know the value of N1 and N2 you will be able to calculate the change in energy if you know the change in energy H is a constant you will be able to calculate the frequency in hertz cycles per second hertz this is the frequency then you will be able to calculate uh, frequency is equal to wave number multiplied by velocity of light. So you can calculate the wave number. So wave number is equal to frequency over velocity of light. Yes, this is. So, uh, students, uh, if I know the uh, change in energy, H is a Planck's constant, so I can calculate the frequency. So if I want to calculate the wave number, so frequency I calculate from here, velocity of light is a constant 3.8 into 10 to the power uh, 8. 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. So this is a constant value, velocity of light is a constant value and frequency you calculate from here. So you will be able to calculate the wave number. Step by step you can calculate. First you calculate delta E. Then you calculate frequency, then you calculate the wave number and wavelength also. Wavelength. Lambda, which is a 1 over wave number. So these terms, parameters can be calculated if you know the value of delta E. But directly you can calculate the wave number. You can calculate the wave number directly if you start from here. If you start from here. How? This is the change in energy delta E m z square e4 a epsilon naught x square. And you know delta E is equal to H V and frequency is equal to delta E over H. So then this is the delta E divided by H, but only should be H cube. So the formula for the frequency will be is equal to m z square e four a epsilon naught h cube and this. So this will be a frequency for us. Then 
If you want to calculate the wave number, wave number is called frequency or velocity of light. So put the wave number here m z square e four a epsilon naught h cube and velocity of light. This will be a wave number. So that is why the wave number will be now. I'm going to write wave number directly. If you ask a question last time, calculate the wave number. So this is the formula. Wave number is equal to z square m e four divided by a epsilon naught square h q c one over n one square minus one over n two square. So z for the atomic number of any atom. M constant, E constant, H constant, epsilon constant, H constant, C constant. So the scientists we call red bird constant. R. Red birds constant. Value of R. So if you put all these values uh, except the uh, Z because it's atomic number, so you will get one point zero nine six seven eight into ten to the power seven one over x one square minus one over n two square. So, uh, dear friends, if you want to calculate the value of wave number, then it will be uh, R if you are hydrogen is one. So it will be R multiplied by n one square minus. This is the formula. If you know the value of n and n one and n two, so value of R is a red bird constant here. Put this value for the hydrogen. You will be able to calculate the wave number or hydrogen I say. Dear students, I am going to end in here uh, up to the wave number. So, constant questions. There are numericals also uh, you have to solve. So, next topic will be uh, defense of the Bohr model, then uh, hydrogen spectrum. So, when you uh, will do the hydrogen spectrum, then you will be able to uh, calculate the wave number according to this. There are some series. We have explained some series about this. Thank you very much. So we are going to end this day.